Lamb Dog 76. Uh, I'm uh, just leaving my my tiny house. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make any more of these videos without a sponsor. Double T Flapjack 394277 uh, underscore user five. Uh, big big props for sponsoring the last video. <laughs> That was, that was me making fun of uh, George for title. Those videos are so lame, man. I can't believe it. Uh, it's almost, it's so lame that it almost goes full circle. And for those of you who don't know about them, uh, I'll put a link to George for title's uh, website in the, in the description bar. It's good stuff. Um, sort of like watching a, watching a fake train wreck in slow motion. Like as if, uh, Ed Wood made it. Ed Wood made a fake train wreck movie and then you watch it in slow motion. <laughs> so, um, continuing with my series on the social safety net, and this sort of brings me, it's tangently related to George for title. Um, there is a, there is a part about, uh, minimum wage and, and corporate social welfare that I don't, I don't know very much about. And it stems from uh, part of my understanding of the the wealth of nations and the invisible hand and the division of labor. When a when a society becomes industrialized enough, most common tasks for uh, uh, physical labor become so simple that it requires no skill whatsoever. So, if if skill need to be needs to be a determining factor for labor then it's just a skilled position is eliminated through automated uh, mechanism so at which point do the skilled people need the unskilled to to fill those roles and and how are those roles filled and how are those roles compensated that's something I don't know and I wouldn't and I wouldn't be so bold to, to claim that, well, it only applies to skilled, uh, skilled labor forces or, or other types of investment. Uh, I can tell you my own experience in my case. Naturally, when I first started out, my first jobs were some of those less skilled McDonald's type jobs. I was never in a position where I, I thought, oh, gee whiz, this is it. This is the position for me and I won't go anywhere else like that was never even a moment to think wow I've, I've made it and everything's fine so I can't personally speak for someone who is in the position do I respect somebody that's willing to get up in the morning and work and and do their thing for for money to support their family and and putting it out there and instead of just sitting back absolutely uh, but but you quickly get to the point of who who will then take up financially for for these people who have been divided because of the division of labor uh, for these people who have been been mitigated or made obsolete because of the division of labor you know who whose responsibility is it to fund that is it the the business who divided the labor or is it everyone in the whole entire country so we don't have to brunt the load of a particular uh, product. So we just spread it around, which it doesn't make sense. You know, why should, why should my tax dollars have to pay for a Walmart employee to get minimum wage when Walmart isn't willing to pay for the person? And I don't even shop at Walmart. The only person that really benefits is the Walmart shopper who gets those discounted rates. So in a way, your discounted rate is from your taxes. So these are some thoughts and I don't really know. Hopefully uh, Sned can, can make another vid and bounce it back off because I really want to learn more about that part. And uh, other than that, I lost my sweet light. So <laughs> I'll see y'all later.